Hello and welcome to Talk to Me on City 1051 FM, your number one lifestyle station. It's 32 minutes. It's actually 8.32 p.m. <laughs> Today, the 8th of September 2022. I am Adedoja Allen, your host of Talk to Me and the MD CEO of City 1051 FM. On this show, we delve into and discuss marriage and its complexities. The objective is to help build and sustain healthy marriages through your shared marital experiences and real life issues while offering counsel that promotes godly marriages. This is absolutely essential. Uh, uh, we offer the counsel that produce, promotes godly marriages, strengthens the family systems and ensure that uh, marriage becomes enjoyable to both spouses and produce godly children. The effect of bad marriages and parenting is evident in the lives of boys and girls today. Normally, children from broken homes end up being dysfunctional. We want to prevent further damages in our society as much as possible. You can watch me live by visiting our website on www.city1051fm.com or a mixer at city1051fm to listen live. You can also go to any Google Play store or iOS store and search for city1051fm to download the City FM app and listen live. We are also live on my personal handle on instagram at doja allen and at city1051 on facebook instagram and youtube you can also join me live on zoom with the login nine nine two zero five six five nine zero eight six that is nine nine two zero five nine nine two zero five six five ninety eighty six and the password is six five six six nine seven password is six five six six nine seven do you have a story you like to share with us we want to hear all about it no matter how bad you feel we will listen email me at talk to me talk to me one word at city one zero five one f m dot com or send a whatsapp on zero nine zero nine nine one six uh double four zero three i will do our best to give you good counsel now the topic uh or the title of today's story sent to us is my husband wants an open marriage because he can't he cannot get over his ex please advise my husband wants an open marriage because he cannot get over his ex please advise so the story goes good day ma i want to remain anonymous i am a 33 years old married woman and i need your advice because i think i have made a mistake in marrying the man i call my husband so i met my husband three years ago he is the MD of a group of companies. I had gone to make a presentation uh, and to interview him on a success in his business. During the interview, he asked me to join him for lunch, and I did. Mind you, he's in his 50s. From having lunch with him, we started talking, becoming friends, and I think we both fell for each other. He told me his wife and him are separated at the time so i told him we can't be together until he finalizes everything with his wife that did not stop him from pursuing me but i rejected all his advances as much as i could five months later he started his divorce proceedings that was concluded within the next one year and by the time we were clearly in love um no what, what did she say there she said that was concluded within the next one year and by this time 
we were clearly in love and I moved in to live with him. Despite the difference in age, we had a pretty great sex life. I got pregnant and eventually uh, their divorce fell through. So, Hobby and I got married in court. My husband's marriage with his wife did not work because his wife was always cheating on him. He said he never wanted to leave her even though she was cheating. But when he met me, he felt he deserved a chance at being with someone who loves him for being himself. Our marriage is doing well, despite all that happened with my husband's ex and his children who are grown and in the UK. Well, all until last year. Last year, their second son graduated from college and hubby went to UK for the graduation. And that was how he and his ex-wife connected and had sex. Hobby hid this from me, but I noticed her marriage began to decline it began to travel to uk often and his ex-wife started posting pictures of them together i was shocked and blindsided when i asked my husband he did not deny it he said he may just be realizing that he may have made a mistake by divorcing his wife and marrying me those words hit so hard my son is just a year old and it appears my marriage is about to fall apart to my husband's ex i was angry and upset and i told him to go to hell but i love my husband and i don't know what to do i do not want to lose him he says he won't divorce me but i think he's just saying that out of pity not love for me i feel so stupid and tricked now i can barely see my husband to spend time with is most of the time with his ex in the UK. When he's in Nigeria, the one is always calling him. I cry every day, but my husband says he can't not do anything to push away his ex because she is the love of his life, even though he knows his ex will still cheat on him. Then my husband dropped the bomb. He said he and his ex talked about me and she wants us to have an open relationship. That is, she can still be having sex with my husband and whoever she likes and my husband can still have sex with me. She's not interested in marrying him again, just wants to have a sexual relationship with him. So I started thinking of leaving the marriage, but I am being advised to stay and pray about it. That there is nothing prayer cannot change. And I have been praying. Now I'm tired. I'm sad in my marriage. I've lost my husband. He's more excited to travel and have sex with his ex rather than me. My friend wants to wants me to agree with my husband and his ex so that I can also find a guy that will take care of me. After all, Obi is getting sexual needs met. Why can't I do the same? The most women that most women, I beg your pardon, that most women married to rich men do this all the time. Stay married on paper, but you can still see other people as long as you are discreet about it. But my fear is, if I do that, that would make me lose my marriage faster. What if this woman, that is his ex, finally claims this man because she apparently has a stronghold on him? And what if I go after other men and end up losing my husband? Please, what should I do? I don't want to leave him. I love him so much. What can I do to win him back to me? alone please advise me please advise me all right and that's the end to join the conversation it's zero seven zero zero one zero five one one zero five one uh send a whatsapp to zero nine zero nine nine one six double four zero three the number again to call to join the conversation is zero seven zero zero one zero five one one zero five one first caller hello good evening what's your name and uh, where are you calling from this is uh first of calling from Mushi. it is who first us we are first of longest time man. okay hi how are you hi thank you man good I've been listening to most of the show. did you get the gist of the yeah. story yes i do okay okay all right so let's have your contribution my best, my best advice to her 
feel that she has to remain married to him. Actually, the husband, she shouldn't take it that the husband deceives the house or something. The man has gone after money. The wife, the first wife and the children have made it. And he has to keep, he has to play along, he has to keep in and play along for the children to be able to take care of him. So, for, my, for me, the advice is that the woman has to, the second wife, she has to remain second wife. And make sure she keeps in the, the, the little one, I don't know whether it's the baby is a girl or a boy, to the family. She has to forget about sentiment as it is now, the time now. She has to take away sentiment. If, if she wants to take care of the man all alone for herself, it will not work any longer as it is now. So for me, <laughs> she remains second wife. <laughs> if she remains second wife, she has been praying. But for me, I think action, action, work faster and speak louder than argument. Mm. So if she has to keep in, she should just remain. The man <laughs> remain a second wife. Excellent, right. Anything less than that. Mm. Mm. Thank you. you. Thank you so much for your contribution. You see, this made me think very deeply when I was, you know, going through this and preparing for the show. That's why a lot of single women, uh, matured single women, refuse to get married to divorces. Honestly. Because it's as if they know that this kind of thing can just spring up at any time. You know, they know that the men never get over their wives, their ex-wives. And so they just would rather avoid this kind of heartache. It's, on, I don't even know. I'm like, I was stunned. I said, well, it's, she's, 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 she's well, whether I call it ex or whatever, at least they've been married and they have kids. And so this kind of thing is bound, bound, bound to happen. I, I don't know whether to say the man has done something wrong, to be honest, because I want to be fair. I mean, <laughs> I just, I don't know. Hello, good evening. What's your name and where are you calling from? Good evening. Good evening. My name is Ajao, calling from Ajao. Hello. <laughs> I like that combination. All right, talk to me, Ajao. Uh, it's, it's complicated. Uh, but, uh, yeah, it's a tough uh, one. Mm. It's, it's complicated. But the, the point is this. Is the woman engaged? I mean, is she a business woman? Is, uh, is the one what? Oh, you're breaking off. Hello? Yes, now I can Hello? hear you. Is the woman what? Yes. Is she gainfully employed? Oh, okay. Well, she didn't tell us that. She didn't tell me that. I didn't see a need well, to if, ask her. Mm. If, if she's um, gainfully employed or she has a business, then I would advise that she quit the, the marriage. Look, she she has already lost the man to, to the first wife. Exactly. And just, as you said, mm. it, just as you said, there's always this emotional connection. Mm -hmm. or emotional reconnect, mm -hmm. reconnection. That's the word, reconnection. <laughs> reconnection, mm. yeah. Whenever, I mean, even if the, if the, the first wife is gone 30 years and they, they, hmm. they reconnect. Mm. Yes. Yeah. Mm. So it's just the reconnection. Mm. <laughs> And coupled with the fact that the woman is, in, is not in Nigeria, the kids are grown. They are just as the other said, the, the kids would not take care of their dad. And the man would be that they have to be with the first wife so that the kids can look after me. Mm. It's, it's complicated. For me, she's getting employed. She should just forget about this story and concentrate on her, on her child and move on. Yeah. Thank you so much, Ajao. Thank you for your contribution she should just count her losses bar and move on <laughs> more like it uh, yeah i mean I'm, i don't think you're you're far from the truth uh, because even though she did say that um the woman told the man that's you know our ex-husband who is you know our own husband now new, new husband that she's not interested in staying in the marriage or marrying him or wanting him back but just for sex so it's a funny situation but hey they could have sorted it. Hello, good evening. What's your name and where are you calling from? It's who? Shagun from Shagamo. Shagun from Shagamo. All right, talk to me, Shagun. Okay. I've got the, 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 the 
just for the diaries. Sorry, Shegwa, I'm struggling to hear you. Go ahead. Say that again. I said the best advice I have from my own side here. Yeah. Is that she should try as much as possible to, to move on with her life. <laughs> because it's more like the, the man come back to his senses mm. now. Mm. <laughs> mm. That is my own. Uh, but, but how about the situation where. Like to, what about the situation. The first wife now. Mm. And yeah, but the first wife does not want to stay. Married, she just wants sex. <laughs> I mean, it's mm. but how sure is she? How, how sure mm. you, know, you cannot just put up that kind of uh because mm. they just pass that one across, it may not be their main intention. Mm. So when it comes to as you see, to keep her head, it's better for her to move on. That's yeah. the after, uh, mm. Regardless uh, of what whatever their issues are, right. She should leave them with their issues and not get entangled. Because, exactly. yeah, because they will always be there. That's the unfortunate thing, actually. Yeah, but they've been married, though. You know, it's tough. I don't know whether to say it. Anyways, thank you so much, Ego. Thank you for your contribution. It's 8.49 p.m. And you're tuned in to Talk to Me with myself, Ade Doja Allen. Right here on City 1051 FM, we are your number one lifestyle station. And we've been dissecting this very, very slightly complicated uh, marriage issue. Hello, good evening. What's your name and where are you calling from? Hello? Oh. All right, please call us back. Numbers to call to join the conversation is 0700. 1051 1051. Hello, good evening. What's your name and where are you calling from? Hello. Hello. Hello, good evening. Yeah. Uh, my name is Femi from Abuleba. Your name is? Femi from Abuleba. Femi. Go ahead, Femi. Yeah, the lady did not know that one goes and comes around. <laughs> Yeah. Um, what what she did? What she did? I mean, she's going to go back and she's getting back. To, oh, what did she do? She didn't come what did you call your name, Femi or Shegu? Femi, Femi. What did she Femi. do? Femi, what did she do? Wrong. Yeah. What is it? I said, what did she do? You said, you said, what she, what, what goes round comes round. Yeah, what, because, what did she do? Because, um, when. She wanted to enter into the marriage. She, she knew that the man was married. About to be divorced. Yes. 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 Mm. Because um, the man, the man was dating her, uh, and they are together. That is why she was. <laughs> Hello. I mean, she should put mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. In, in that shoes. She should do what? She entered into the marriage. Because well, I'm strong. I'm actually struggling to put your sentences together. Oh, yeah, the line was very bad. No wonder. Femi, I struggle to connect your sentences together. Please give us a call again on zero seven zero zero one zero five one one zero five one. Hello, good evening. What's your Hello. name and where are you calling from? Good evening, uh, my name is Olainka from Abuja. Olainka from Abuja. Long time. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah, I was here. Okay. I was. We've been. We've been. The show has been on. I was here last week. <laughs> yeah, I miss you, but I mean, it's quite a long time I called. Oh, I see. Oh, gotcha. Yeah. <laughs> All right, Olainka, yeah. talk to me. Let's have your contribution. Uh, 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 yeah, I'll, I'll put it in two perspectives. Okay. I, first of all, the man is a selfish and greedy man. <laughs> Yeah, because and it's and it's not yeah, disciplined. I mean, yes, because if he could go to another woman, I'm, uh, having one other wife, mm. and now turning like back so against his for me, <laughs> you mean that? I mean, I mean, it's quite, it's quite, it's quite I like un, that so un, you know. <laughs> I, don't, I, don't I see the man having a problem in himself. Mm. Is it go digger? Maybe he just wants to have it either way. 
You mm. get my point. Mm. So but I think that's what has played out on the part of the man. Mm. But if you get to the woman, I wouldn't blame her for marrying him, but I would blame her for marrying a man that had a new wife. Mm. Either separated, divorced, or whatever. Mm. Uh, by the grace of God, I have daughters as children, mm. and I'm very sure, God helping me, they will never marry anyone that I had a living wife, mm. to be honest. Because it will always, the holy self will always come back. Mm. It will always have a tie somewhere. Mm. Except if the woman is late, the person is a widow, or uh, maybe a widower, and the man needs to remarry. That mm. I can understand. Mm. But for as long as the wife is still alive somewhere, I will never allow my daughter to marry such. Mm. I will never do Yeah, to marry a divorcee, right? Yes, yeah. yes. It's very wrong. I it's think very, so. Because something mm. somewhere will always... Yeah, that's the thing. Back. That's the thing. It will always do. That's the you thing. Know? And for the woman... I, it's, it's not supposed to be so, but hey. Yes, yes, yes. Mm. But for the woman, I would say... You can't eat your cake and still have it. Just take a decision. If you know you cannot bear that conditional marriage, please step away. Mm. There's no point managing it. Mm. There's no point praying about it. Mm. Don't waste your anointing on such. Just, <laughs> just I, I had it in my uh, question. I said, Will that kind of prayer work? One of the questions I wanted to ask my listener. No, that is magical. <laughs> you will pray, you will listen, but then kill me. I said, Will time. you be answered? Yeah. Oh my God! Thank you so much, Olaika. Thank you, uh, and to you, thank you, you too, and to all my list, uh, all my callers. Actually, thank you so much. You know, each time you call for your with your contributions, you always o you always open my perspective on you know the this issue because I didn't even think about what Olaika said that the man is greedy. What was the word you used, Olaika? The man is selfish and greedy. Actually, you know, thinking about it from the man's angle, yeah. That's what it is because you are divorced. You're not with the woman or again. Why are you going back to have sex with her? I agree. Hello, good evening. What's your name and where are you calling from? My name is Shego. Calling from Ablego. Hello, Shego. Go ahead. Talk to me. <laughs> I will ask you some questions, please. Is you my white woman or a black woman? Ah! Oh, my God. She's black. <laughs> Very black. <laughs> black. Black woman. But your husband did wrong. He, he's not supposed to leave you like that. Divorced, divorced. It's supposed to be with you. Huh? Say that again. I said, Shego. I said, the Hello? Yes, go ahead. I said, I said, your husband did the wrong. He's not supposed to leave you. You know him and him are ex. He's not supposed to do this. He's, He's not, not what? Oh, I'm struggling to hear. He's not supposed to do this like that way. He's not supposed to do it like that. Yes. Mm -hmm. That's the man. Hello? Yes. Mm -hmm. yes, yes. I'm trying to get your contribution, Shegun. I don't understand what you're trying to say, please. I'll call you back. Thank you. Thank you. All right, numbers to call City 1051 FM, uh, 0700 or send a WhatsApp to 0909 Hello, good evening. What's your name and where are you calling from? Calling back, it's who? Pencil, okay. Calling back. All right. The, the one that said yes, she should I remain. To, yeah, second. Second caller, yeah. Uh, I, I, I want to. I want to also focus this issue on this uh, on the way of helping this woman because the way they are they are not that great. I don't. You want? So I want to know as a person that the man is greedy and selfish. Forget about those attributions and uh, focus back to the woman. So, how should we help the woman? How do you help this woman? Is that the woman's child, like what I said before, she needs a family. Whether the, she's a boy or whether a boy or girl, the child needs a family. And for me, the woman has to forget about, you know, what people will say and follow what her heart will tell her. But her heart is telling her to leave. And uh, or leave or or start cheating as well. No, no, no. For me, I'm not advising. I'm, uh -huh. I'm not advising her to leave. Uh -huh. For me, 
I said it before that I am not advising her to leave. She should be in to the family. Forget about sentiment and love her husband. And make sure she gives the baby, the child that she has given to the man, his family to belong to. I am looking away from differences, anger, sentiment, and love to the husband. Whatever that comes out of it, let her keep him and give that to home. That is my own contribution. Thank you. So focus on how to, any other contribution should focus on how to help her. She not should. what the man did because the man doesn't know we are talking about him as it is now. So you are insisting that she stays in the marriage? And that is what I'm insisting that she should stay in the marriage and build her home. And just you so, how the about the relationship of the man with the ex? How should she handle of, it? Of, of, of course, that doesn't concern her. Hmm. But the fact that she has the mind to marry. A, a divorcee, she should also have the mind to love whatever that comes out of that marriage. <laughs> you should forget I about see. the man and the whatever that the, the man and the their past for me. Let her focus on loving the husband. She is still her husband. They're and married. She, she mm. remained a second wife. Mm. She, she, whether she's first now or second, I don't care, but. She, she, she should, should, she should see herself as a second wife. <laughs> I see. That is it. That oh, is my no. It's a tough one. Thank you so much, yes. Pastor. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, City 1051 FM, your number one lifestyle station. You're tuning to talk to me with Ade Doja Allen. We've been dissecting a very uh, tough, it's quite tough, 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 tough story. This evening, it's about a woman who uh, is, a, well, should we say second wife, or who got married to a divorcee. And unfortunately, the, the man is still sleeping with his ex, and so an open relationship is now being proposed. What do we advise her? Hello, good evening. What's your name and where are you calling from? Hello, this is Tony Kejama. It's who? Grace, Grace from Ikeja. Grace from Ikeja. Go ahead, talk to me. Uh, I just want to say, concerning this case, the man life is in danger and the, and the wife life is in danger because, according to the story, the ex said they should be in open relationship, meaning she will be having sex with the man and other people. Yes, she'll be having sex she'll be with having the man and other man with another man. And also and other men. Mm. So my own advice for the woman is she should just stay on her own as far as the man is taking care of the child and her. She should be prayerful and she should pray for separation, permanent separation from the man and his ex. Because the woman did not have any the ex did not have anything to a good to offer. She just wants to destroy the man's life. So she should, she should just walk out of the marriage. No, no, she should continue praying and she should just stay away from their situation now. If the man wants to have sex with her, she should use condom stuff like that. I see. <laughs> Different she perspectives. Different. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you so much, Grace. Yeah. Different perspective on, on your contributions. Different perspective. I have quite a number of WhatsApp messages as well. Uh, let me go to WhatsApp very quickly. Good evening, ma'am. My name is Rachel. My advice to the new, wi new wife is for her to focus on her children if they if they have any, and if they don't, she should decide if she's okay with an open relationship or not. She's not. <laughs> she's not okay. She shouldn't take her friend's advice at all. Yes, I like that. Uh, good evening, I'm Austin from Lagos. The lady I just... Uh, oh, I didn't get that English. Okay, well, let me... Report. The lady is just deceiving herself and wasting her time. You went for a talk uh, to the man's company and you fell in love with a married man who has money. Uh, what was she expecting? First cut uh, first cut is always the deepest. Okay, first cut is always the deepest. Let her look for a guy that will be taking care of her sexually, so she, so she and the wife will just be servicing the man. Oh, oh. <laughs> let's go back to the calls. Hello, good evening. What's your name and where are you calling from? My name is Tunde, calling from Kito. Hello, Tunde. Talk to me. <laughs> Some of these stories at times it beat my. It, beat this, my, my. it sounds like a lie, like I always say. <laughs> yeah, it's a good it's a, <laughs> Well, for me, I believe that I don't. If the woman, the second wife, has fit for this man, 
Yes, she has a, a, a son. She has one child. Okay. But prior to her finding out that the, the man is sleeping with, uh, with his ex. Mm -hmm. Because I think, I, I believe that she should, she should sit the man down. It's rather a choose between her and the woman. Because I, 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 there is a popular idea that a dog doesn't go back to his body. Mm -hmm. This one has gone back home. This one has gone back home. They chopped the vomit, sir. <laughs> where, where? <laughs> it's a severe relationship. It could have been happy at the point. So why did you guys divorce? Mm. I, I, honestly, I like, I like the way... I like the way uh, um, Tunde. I like the way one of my colors described them as selfish and greedy. Apparently, that's what he is. Exactly. Mm. exactly. He's all like inka, selfish because and greedy. Mm. He's very, very selfish and greedy. Yeah, because it's the, it, because if he can say no to the ex, simply because they are no more together for discipline's sake. Mm. Mm. Yes, ma'am. Mm. This is, I know, this is one bit of my imagination, no? If, <laughs> if he's not if, if I just see the police that are not speaking with another person, mm. we'll say, okay, this person is speaking with another person, okay, maybe you find something in the person, but your ex, the person that you are, you, you know, you guys got the picture. And you know she's you cheating. And you know she's cheating. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, no, no, All your no, contributions no. always open my perspective on issues. Honestly, <laughs> I'm I'm so happy about my colors, because so, honestly, uh, sometimes you, I don't even think about it to that extent. But the more the contributions come in, the more even my mind opened up to so say that's very true. Honestly, sometimes I get angry. Sometimes I'm like ah 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 alpha. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you so Thank much, Tony. Thank you. Thank you, ma. All right, City 1051 FM, your number one lifestyle station. Let's go to uh, WhatsApp messages. Mrs. Allen, good evening. In my opinion, neither of them own the man. Oh, wow. Oh, you see what I always say? Different angles. They are both, uh, they are both cards he's playing with. The man is just having his cake and eating it mm -hmm, all at the same time, to be honest. That's why we said he's greedy and he's selfish. Another one says, I... Amara Chuku from Abulegba. She should stay in the marriage since she did not since she did court marriage there. She should fight for her place to convince her husband and also put it in the hands of God. Thank you. Let's go back. Oh, I lost the caller. Sorry about that. Call me again. 0700-1051-1051. Keep the WhatsApp messages coming. Hello, good evening. What's your name and where are you calling from? Hello, good evening. You can not take care from my brother. Okay, I or that's okay. I'm not okay. I'm not okay. Go ahead, talk to me. Okay, for my own opinion, I think the man is old enough to control his mouth. <laughs> because he has already left his ex. Mm -hmm. And why go back to that again? Mm -hmm. Greedy and selfish. Self-centered and greedy. Mm -hmm. They are repeating it. I would just advise the lady to move on because she's too young. And I thank God if he only has one child with him. So she should just move on and mm. find something to me. Mm. That's my own opinion. Thank you so much, Amato. Okay, I like your emphasis. Old enough to <laughs> old enough to control his manhood and he should be disciplined, he's greedy and selfish. I think so. First of all, we're not advocating for divorce. But if you have gone ahead to divorce, then stand by your decision. If you then even want to uh, retract your decision, then do not, don't do it at the time when you have gotten married to the second person. That's unfair. Hello, good evening. What's your name and where are you calling from? Yeah, sorry. I'm just back on the line. Yes, sir. <laughs> it's a buzzing topic yeah. tonight. For, for, mm -hmm. those advocate, for those advocating that you woman should change married, you don't need to say that that woman is going to say <laughs> mm. You have to go to the UK. Mm. If not taking, she could lose her sanity. I know, right? What, what, what really matters for her now is to to compose herself, to get herself going, and she can only do that. See, the moment that man goes to the UK and comes back to that house, it's a so, it's a it's serious torture for her, and she, she still loves the man. So she needs to engage herself, first and foremost, she needs to engage herself, get going. 
the, uh, and what, what I mean is the outgoing see people go to church so that she what government should take her, her mind off the activities of the man and then she can move on from that. Advocating that she stays in that marriage or that contraption it will not work because that man is lost to the other woman. Yeah. I, I can bet you yeah. yeah she's already he's already lost to the other woman. Mm. And she's she's just coming back maybe you know, just to it's a lost battle. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. It's not as if he's coming back to look after the welfare of the woman. Mm -hmm. He keeps saying me that uh, he's in love with the other woman, even though the other woman is cheating. So, what are we talking about? Mm -hmm. Let the woman move on with her life, otherwise, she may lose her sanity. Thank you. Thank you so much, Ajao. I like the passion with which you have contributed. Thank you. Thank you, all my. My callers tonight, you have been absolutely amazing. City 1051 FM to join the conversation on Talk to Me with Ade Doja Allen. Call the number 0700 1051 and send a WhatsApp message to 0909-916-4403. What do you think about an open relationship, open marriage? What do you think? We have a situation a case here that we are dissecting a couple uh broke up divorced got divorced the man got married a second time but still sleeping with his ex mm. what a dilemma hello can you turn down the volume of your radio please yes sir hello sir talk to me uh, tell me your name and where you're calling from I'm sorry? Adekunle on the line. Adekunle, all right. Talk to me. Yeah. Your one time caller. My? Your one time caller. Your, your first, time caller. first time caller? One time. One time. One time. Oh, okay, okay. Okay, okay. all right, yeah, okay. I, I think I, I'm familiar I, with the I, name. I got, mm. Yeah, I got, mm. I got into the mix. I got into the story. I got into the middle of the story. Okay. And I quite understand. All right, uh, fantastic. Go ahead. Uh, so what I what, what I want to say is this: uh, to say on easy like they said that way to call him come. Mm -hmm. You know, and um, fine and good. She's in, she's in. I've listened to different perspectives already, mm. and uh, what she really wants, she's an adult. She should know a left from her right. Would she want to continue with the marriage? Risk. She doesn't want to continue with the marriage. She wants to move out. Risk. You're not a man. You are you divert. People call you very selfish, greedy, and I will call him. I will say he's a twat. You oh, understand? You say he's a what? Is a twat? Is a twat? Is a twat? Why do I why do I say so? If you, you don't want to do something, there would have been a solidified reason for him to have stepped out of the relationship in the first place. In point that. Relationship is already taking the life, risking the other woman's life, wanting that woman buried alive. In as much as the other woman wants to be sleeping with other different men, the woman, the man's life is also also in danger. So if she really knows she does not want the child to be born, to be in shambles, as in shamble, I mean, wanting from one man to the other man, and she wants to stay in the relationship, one. Uh, one grade that I mentioned about condom, when it's on one coin, we talk about sex. It might be okay for the woman, and the man might say it's not okay for him. But whether she sees that, if she is a Christian, I will advise her to kneel down, talk to God. Because I believe in God, Lord, that there is nothing prayer cannot turn around. The woman, the man going back to the earth, I know the ordinary. I don't know if you understand what I'm saying. I do. Does she have a legal does she have a legal ground to pray uh about that? You know, if she can pray, if he, is there anything impossible for God to do? Mm. She already has a son. Mm. She goes out of the marriage. What would happen to the boy? She getting another man to marry. Will the man she's gonna get married to love the boy like the father? Mm. Will the boy be well treated? Has she wanted the boy to be treated? Mm. Are we looking at that angle? Mm. Do you know what broken homes does to children? Yeah, absolutely. 
We are not yes, even the advocating. Know who the father really is. Fine. She mm. might be going into it because she already knew the man mm. was a married man but ex. But some men are so stupid, so naive, so inconsiderate <laughs> that they don't do they don't do things without reasoning. Mm. The man should always know that he is also risking his life if he thinks his business is flourishing. The moment that woman starts speaking with other men, that man is going down. Hmm. It's going down. The moment the it's moment the woman starts to sleep with other men. I mean the other yeah, the mm. other the other woman that said they should remain an open relationship. Mm. You know, your about to say if I do I yeah. Mm. Yeah. Many men don't know that one no. But men they won't know. Maybe they have some they, they feel it's okay to be fire, fire, fire with every woman, every woman that comes their way. Man, it's dangerous because all other costs, all other dangerous things that goes with it goes with the goes into the man. Mm. So if that woman think is not safe for her, she should think. Would she want to stay single with the child for her to wait to get the better man? Mm. It is her decision. She has the compass. She has the hope. So she shouldn't just rush into conclusion. Let us seek the concept of the thinker. Oh, mm. that is God. Let us go into prayer, mm. fast if she can, and melt in the middle of the night. And ask God, God, I am in a dilemma. Show me the way. God is always there for us to show us the way in respect of whatever circumstances we are going through. We are not pain, we are sinners, but we listen and forgive. You understand? So Absolutely. Should anything, should anything happen? Should anything happen to the man from other than, from the other woman, she will not be held responsible. So that's why she needs to talk to God or talk secret, counsel of advice, so that but if she's going to move out, fine, let her move out. If the man would take responsibility of the child, let her look for a better place. Then sit down and think before she can jump jump into another relationship completely. Hmm. That is just my own advice. Thank you because so much. We should take time. Mm. Mm. I know it's easier said. I know. I know. You're right. On easy lies, uh, the head that wears the crown. You're very correct. Yeah. It's easy for us to advise and give our counsel. But at the end of the day, and that's what we always say on this show. At the end of the day, it's you know, it's 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 up to the person. She should stop telling her story to her fans. Her fans will not direct her well. Her friends. She has the head. She has the head to think. Mm. Let her sit in the let her sit at the triangle of her bed mm. alone mm. when the baby is sleeping and now put her head down and say, Alone, where do I go from here? Mm. Where do I go from here? Mm. God will talk to her. And then like talk to me and then I did the job. God will talk to her. <laughs> exactly. I like that. Thank you so much, Adikole. And God does talk to us. If you talk to him, he will talk to you in return. I like that. So I think we need to hinge it on the fact that she should just pray about it, right? From what Adekunle has advised, she should go ahead and pray about it and cry to God. And honestly, God does hear prayers. So we cannot, you know, take that for granted. Hello. Good evening. What's your name and where are you calling from? Good evening, man. <laughs> okay. Olayinka from Azulek, man. All right, Olayinka. Uh, 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 yeah, Make it I one minute. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, I, had a, I, had a, I had a second thought. That mm. probably I was rushed to tell the woman to, to walk away. But, well, okay, uh, I was trying to remember what you said the first time. You said the man... Okay, you're the one that said the man is selfish and greedy. Uh, yes, yeah, but I was like... <laughs> Point blank with the woman that she stepped away, you know. So what are what are your afterthoughts? Yeah, you know the last call I got me thinking, uh, mm. like David in the Bible, mm. he had two scenarios. One, God asked him to pursue; the other, God did not. Mm. So if if she could go to God and God says she should fight, fight for this marriage, I think she should stay and talk to the man. Perhaps. It's a game plan on the man's side. Maybe mm. the man wants to get what he didn't get from the woman. Because if the woman was a, the wife was a cheating wife, I don't think in his right senses he should go back to her. But maybe there's something he left on 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 his sex from now. her. He's sex. Uh, mm. uh, no, it's not just that. Men, you know, you, know, you men. Uh, uh, 
you know, it could be <laughs> some fortune. You know, so I think that's what he's up to. So if, if she, the second wife, can get to understand the game plan from the man and pray to God and God said, stay back, mm. then I think she should. But otherwise, there's no point. Mm. There's no point, honestly speaking, because the man will just be playing with that emotion. And like one of the callers says, she could go crazy just like that. She mm. will go, she could lose her senses. Mm. So rather than waiting to the point where she will lose her senses, she just meet it in the board in good time. Yeah. You Thank know, you. Either praying and staying back according to the leading of God, but if it's not that, I will advise her to just step away. Right. For our own sanity and sanity. <laughs> Thank you so much, Olanka. Yeah. Thank you. Well, you emphasized what you said the last time, though. It's sort of. <laughs> Thank you so much for your contribution. I have been so, so well, well informed on the various uh, angles that you have all brought in your contributions tonight. Uh, it's 9.18 p.m. live on City 1051 FM. We are your number one lifestyle station and you're tuned in to talk to me with Ade Doja Allen. We've been dissecting open marriage. Open marriage. What are your thoughts? Hello, good evening. What's your name and where are you calling from? My name is Remy from Igado. Hello, Remy. Please, mm. uh, please, I want to contribute to what's going on. Please go I ahead. I want to know about uh, Pastor B.C. Adewale. I want to buy, buy the book for my, my son. Okay, which of the so, books? Uh, uh, the one that uh, said the Suhas question. The 1,000, okay. All right. Yeah, um, tell us where we can. Is, it is on his web, website. I think the website is bcadewale dot com uh, just on whatsapp let me just okay okay all right thank you okay yeah. all right thank you, you. Good, job. Just say good job you thank you thank you madam yes, remy thank you for that yes. okay yes so for everyone that wants to buy pastor bc adewale's book i will uh we'll put it on whatsapp uh, will send us a WhatsApp message and I will reply. And then I think someone sent me a message on Instagram as well. I forgot to reply. Sorry about that. I will respond to that as soon as I get the actual website. I think it's talking about the 1,000 um, uh, questions to ask if you want to get married. So to the singles, very important. Yeah, I'm sure that you were super blessed. I will still bring him on uh, very soon. I will tell him that the callers, uh, or the listeners rather, are asking uh, for him and he'll be so happy to join us okay so back to talk to me with Ade Doja Allen call me to join the conversation 0700 1051 1051 we'll be rounding up in the next five minutes so I was saying one of the questions I put here actually I don't know if anybody can contribute to says so I said rather what do you so so I said what do you think was she tricked into the marriage as she claimed because she said she was tricked do we think she was tricked like someone said, oh God, quite a lot. Hello, good evening. What's your name and where are you calling from? Yes, Yakubu is my name. Could you, I'm calling from could you turn Lagos. down the volume of your radio? Yakubu All right, Yakubu. Name, yes, I'm I can hear you. Lagos. Okay. All right, Yakubu, yeah. go ahead in one minute. The, 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 the problem here is that we are looking at this thing from the Western perspective. From the Western perspective. <laughs> yes. We, we, we knew of our forefathers as our persons are still living. Mm. The way they lived when it comes to marriage, I think who has four wives, even the one has gone, the evil woman, <laughs> and they live with him. I think who travels all over the world and not the rest. What I think is that this other first wife offers very good sex. This other younger one who came into the, into the marriage does not have that uh, vibe. They should try to sort out this. The woman should try to get herself engaged. She should, should remain in marriage. Try to find out what that other woman does. Mm. Extra. Mm. That, that is making him come back. Then, yes. Mm. Get, get, your, get your husband back. They are used to say through the stomach to get your husband. That word does not really mean stomach. You mm. have to think of what your husband really needs. Find out what that woman has that you don't have, add mm. it to what you have, and that's this man. 
But however, I do my one my wife to have two wives. What is wrong with it? Mm-hmm. Let him and get yourself engaged, live your life. When the man is with you, you live with her. Mm-hmm. And you live with him. If the man goes there, your child is with you, take care of your child and do other businesses that you are doing. It comes again. That's why mm. that's how our forefathers and our own fathers, not even our forefathers. That's how my father did. Your so father? You look at it. Don't drive this man out of marriage mm. because uh, the, the. I don't. I think we should. Yakub, I think we should get it right. Honestly, it's not so much of uh, two wives. I think it's more of an open relationship where uh, that ex wife will be sleeping with other men. Apart from this man does not want to tell the woman at home. To he doesn't want to do what? Do what? Tell this woman at home, the younger wife, the truth. He has gone back to the first marriage. Mm. He's having two wives. Mm. You see? Look at your perspective. Thank you so much, Yakubu. Thank you. Okay, thank thank you. you. Thank yeah. you for that contribution. You see what I always say? You guys opened my mind to what I didn't even think about. That's... Mm. That's a very grown, grown up perspective that she didn't want to, he doesn't want to open up to. And you know, she said that he, he was hiding things from her. Mm. So, Yakub has helped us to put that finger on it that um, he, yeah, that he has, is he, keeping both of them at the same time. He just doesn't want to open up. Mm. That could be it. You see what men do. All right, let's go to WhatsApp. Uh, when you marry a man who divorced his wife to marry you, uh, what's, what's, it, what's, what's to tell you or that maybe that's to tell you that it'll remain oh okay what's to tell you that it'll remain faithful to only you the only thing she can do is to pray to God and continue to do the things that made him fall in love with her in the first place well that's what someone said as well Mrs. Adejo, <laughs> Mrs. Adedoja don't finish us we men yes yeah, so you men you know you people like uh, you like <laughs> All right, so good evening, Mrs. Allen. In summary, I really want to hear the man's side of the story. What if his ex is blackmailing him? You see, you guys always open my mind. I don't want to believe a reasonable man will go back to a cheating ex and and be willing to accept her vague conditions. Absolute. I didn't even think about this. Secondly, if he's truly foolish and the story is as it is, then I'll advise her to stay away. Remain separated and open her heart to opportunities while she continues to pray. Obi from Ikeja. You guys are wonderful. You always blow my mind on your perspectives. If we add all of this together, uh, okay. Oh, okay. If we add all of this together, my mom usually says something in Yoruba. She says, <laughs> I don't know. You know, I try to understand it, but now it's making sense to me in this kind of, uh, in this situation, because from all your perspectives and your contributions, it's indeed very deep the you know the bottom of the matter something like that is very deep the the, the crux of the matter here yeah, is very deep because it could be anything look at that last contribution now that you know what if the woman is black mainly that she doesn't believe or he doesn't believe that the same man will go back to a cheating ex that makes sense do- doesn't it do we agree it makes sense so really and truly we don't even know the co 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 nitty gritty the cause they use all the words on why the man is doing what he's doing somebody also contributed and said that it's possible that the sex uh, between him and the ex is greater than the sex between him and and this my 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 writer so it could be anything but anyways the bottom line is the advice i would give as i round up is that uh, you know, I know quite a lot of mature singles uh, who avoid uh, uh, divorced men. And it's not because of anything, but majorly because of things like this. They always say, at least I know one that always says they never get over their exes. They never get over their exes. They are always sort of entangled with them one way or the other, whether uh, they have children, whether they don't have children. It's just one thing or the other. Some, well, not in all cases. I also know one that... Um, yeah, she's she's with an uh, uh, an a divorcee and everything is fine. They, it's over with the ex and that. So really and truly, always wear the options. Just know what you're getting into before you get into it. Because I'm, I want to believe that if you are taking a little step back to examine the situation closer, you know, a little bit closer, you could have seen some signs that 
this man he be like saying we're not streets <laughs> something like that um so you know basically before we delve into marriage before we go into marriage for the singles and especially the mature single women please be very very careful there's no need to rush into it you don't want to rush in and rush out okay so i think that's it from me tonight i do apologize i see that uh, my the phone lines are still buzzing i can't not take any more calls because we need to round up the show in two three minutes and so i will see you next time next week thursday when the show makes a return uh, at 8 30 p.m in the meantime i think we want to empathize or commiserate with the uh the people of england on the death of the or sympathize actually with the death of the uh the queen the queen of england our majesty queen elizabeth ii the longest serving monarch of uh the royal family we want to sympathize with the family we at city 1051 fm would like to we mourn with you and we sympathize with the family and the entire british you know people because i know that this this means a lot to uh to the brits this is indeed an end of an era all right okay so don't forget uh, you can talk to me share your marriage problems with us and um we will do our best to bring it up i'm sure you've been very 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 informed and educated about the con different contributions from people to help you open up your mind and you've also learned one or two lessons not to make the same mistake all right see you next week do not touch that dial keep it locked down on city 1051 fm love you all bye for now <laughs>